at his videos. I don't know who it is, but I just talked to her. I sent you a message. I, maybe you didn't get it. I don't know, but. No, I didn't. I'm on another Facebook ban. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what happened. All right. Okay. Dan. Yeah. I didn't want to be a dick to anybody. Yeah. I just wanted the cops to take my report, and then Natalie died. Yeah, it's... That sucks. You know, the cops could have done their jobs at any point in time instead of assaulting me. Yeah, that's for sure. They treat people like shit. I needed someone to help, Dan. I needed someone to go in with me so the cops wouldn't do exactly what they did. Yeah, everybody's probably afraid they'll do the same thing to them. They are. Quite a few of them. I got text message after text message after Facebook message from people telling me they're scared shitless of that. They're yeah, also scared of the ball. Unfortunately, we have no control over that. They're just... It's like we're their slaves. You know, if I could see my loved ones, that would have, that would have been good enough. Yeah. People don't understand that that's the reason that I'm fucking suicidal. That's the reason that I'm screaming. And if I could just show people the truth, instead, only one side gets to be shown. And I, I go through hell over it. And I don't want to expose people. I don't. Yeah, I, I'm wouldn't, just, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's I'm that's trying. Rough. I'm trying to show why it is that I'm fucking having severe panic attacks, you know? Well, I think I think we all believe you. It's just <clears throat> the cops just aren't going to listen. So I, I guess I just, I don't think people know what they can do. But, I mean, it's definitely not, you know, your friend's fault. I know it's not. That's the thing, though, is that all of them... <laughs> It's like people were willing to offer the help that I needed after it was already too late. Yeah. And I, I told them what I needed, and then when it's already too late, it's like you need new shoes so that the diabetes won't eat your feet and you won't have to have them amputated. And then six months after you had to have them amputated, people bring you a pair of new shoes and then get pissed off that you don't put them on because you can't wear them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think people just <clears throat> trying to find you a place to stay and stuff like that, even though it's not uh, it's not getting to what you really need. I think they're just trying to at least make you comfortable, even though they can't, you know, take care of the actual issue with the police officers. I think they're just trying to, you know, make your life a little more comfortable. So I realize it's not the help you want, but just trying to give you something i think the help i need is an autism advocate as far as a safe place goes i it needs to be without streaming i mean i yeah that's I tough to find to <laughs> we is. all want that it's not easy to find seems I mean, like every house has some you know craziness to it for We're me all, we all have our issues for me familiarity is important and i don't get that for me, yeah. being able to establish a routine is important, and I don't get that. Yeah. Like, you know, that day that I walked over a hundred blocks to go see Natalie, I thought she was going to put an end to this stuff, you know? Yeah. And she didn't. She just made it worse. And I, I couldn't have possibly gone to that even if I, even if I had read that, because I didn't read the protection order until I was at Candace's house. You know, that was after the border police assaulted the fuck out of me. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, cops have been doing this for centuries. Yeah. They've been getting away with it. Finally, I think people are starting to fight back a little bit, but especially black people. I mean, they've done that to them for their entire time. Well, black people in Boulder County, they account for 1.3% of the population. 
Homeless people account for 0.9% of the population. Yeah. Black people in Boulder get arrested at a 5 to 1 ratio over their white counterparts. Yeah, Homeless people get arrested me. at 346 to 1. But black homeless are really fucked. That's very true. That is very true, Dan. Dan, I, I, I need to be able to see my loved ones in person when it's not a shitty situation. Yeah. Like, for my dad, I mean, I, I can consider him a loved one. I, I do care about his well-being, but I am so pissed off at him right now. And most of these people were just complete strangers, you know? Most of my friends are broke or homeless. Most of them are broke and homeless in Boulder, Colorado. Huh. And there's supposed to be services to help us, and we jump through all these hoops. I spent over $200 in gas going from one therapy appointment to another just since I've been here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. They did everything that they could to prevent me from going to court, and Natalie's family played victim, and I have the proof, I just don't have a place to sit and work on it. Yeah, but I guess the question is, are they going to help you even if you do get it all? I mean, obviously the people keep telling you no, right? I mean, so even if you get it all prepared and set up just like you want to, who are you going to go to? Yeah, that's a lot of the issue that I was having with like, Pierre was going to make a police report, but I didn't have anyone to have him send a police report to. I couldn't yeah, think of a I single think officer who would look at it. Shutting you out, anyhow. Well, I, I, don't, sounds like. I don't have my disability coming in anymore. I, I literally threatened to kill the President of the United States to try, to try to force an outside agency to look. I know you did. I had security service, sir. They called me. Yeah? Secret Service did, yeah. Well, that's good. They asked me how you were and who you were. and So, yeah, I stuck up for you. So, I mean, I don't think you got into too much trouble over it. I, mean, I just told them, like you had said, that it was just for, you know, attention and uh, try to get things heard from your point of view. And so they said okay and seemed like they were okay for it. So... Yeah, well, yeah, they, they me at work one night. They still didn't listen. They still didn't take a look at it. They literally, yeah. that evidence left left Boulder County in the hands of a a Sheridan officer. That's a that's a Arapaho County, and yeah. I needed that evidence to show Officer Amanda Jonas. That's what that appointment was supposed to be for, is so that she could take a look at that evidence and take a look at what was going on. They said they couldn't because it was out of jurisdiction, but the officer who took a look at Zade Atkinson's thing in Boulder was from Longmont, which is out of jurisdiction, so why couldn't they have done that for me? Yeah, that out of jurisdiction is just, uh, just bullshit. I mean, it doesn't mean it's okay to commit crimes if it's outside of jurisdiction. Well, I committed I crimes across jurisdictions up. to make sure that they looked at all of it, but that yeah. wasn't enough. They they literally did everything they they could not to. Yeah, it's not it's not a lack of evidence. It's just the fact that they're just not listening. You know, I mean, you could have it. You could have it right in front of their faces, and they're obviously just not going to do anything about it. Yeah, they stole a lot a of shit. it too. Like you know they. Those are my memories. That's the people that I love and I care about. And them hating me so much. Not understanding my frustration at them not looking. Like. That's well, the thing. I think you got to be mad at the system. I mean, they're not really your friends, though, right? I mean. A lot I think of they more. understand. They're just. They feel like their hands are tied. They're just helpless. Some of them are. Some of them are helpless. But a lot of them, it's that they were painted a very one-sided picture. And yeah. Well, then they're just not good friends, right? Well, if they hadn't been painted that picture, they would be good friends. Yeah. The thing is that they, 
the way that it was painted for them, yeah, I, I'd be afraid to help people too, uh, but I still, yeah, I still understand do. it. I mean, there's so many issues that the homeless have to face, including the bullshit that we have to go through when we're falsely accused. I mean, basically, they hold you in jail until you're willing to plead guilty to a crime that you didn't commit. And then that adds to statistics. It's the same thing they do to black people. You know, they hold you yeah. in there. But that's the thing, is that most of the black people in the jails are homeless black people. Right. You think any of them would rather be there than out on the streets? I mean, is it more comfortable for them, you think, or no? Or do they just have no choice? They're stuck there. They don't have a choice. They're stuck oh, there. Okay. One of the guys... I've heard some people, when they get out, actually sometimes commit crimes to get back in just because, you know, they just have no life on the outside. For a lot of homeless people, they will. They'll yeah. uh, commit crimes so they can go get locked up for the winter so they don't freeze to death. Yeah. That's what I was wondering, yeah. Well, All right, man, I gotta, I'm only on my lunch break here, so I got to head back to work. Thank you for calling me back, Dan. It means okay. a lot. All right, see you later, man. Bye. Bye-bye.